I'm in all out packing mode right now, trying to get everything figured out for this flight tomorrow. I've officially made it to Chicago, but only for a few hours. I'm leaving early tomorrow morning to go to New Orleans. I know I mentioned that in a previous video. I'm gonna be shooting a wedding there and I'm being flown in to do that. So I'm really looking forward to it. Should be a lot of fun. I did decide to fly Spirit Airlines, and I don't know if I'm going to really regret that or not, but there's a lot of catches with Spirit. I've never flown Spirit before. I really don't really fly often ever, so I'm not really like a flying expert, but I'm looking forward to seeing how this experience turns out. The biggest catch is that I'm only allowed one bag, and, and if you can guess, I'm going to shoot a wedding, so obviously that bag is going to be my camera bag which is right here, but I'm going to town for like a week, so I have to figure out how I can fit all of my gear, all my lenses, my drone, my laptop, everything, and enough changes of clothes to not smell completely terrible for an entire week in New Orleans. I've definitely heard good things about Spirit and, and a lot of bad things about Spirit too. It's, it should be pretty interesting, but the flights were so cheap it was kind of hard to resist them. I did cheat a little bit. I had my tripod shipped to New Orleans last week, so it's already there, ready to go. Uh, that was kind of something that I really need to do the wedding. And you know, it was just, it was cheaper to just to ship it there and then to ship it back when I'm done than it was to actually have a carry on bag on spirit you have to pay for access to the overhead bins area and it's like 35 or 40 dollars each way to get access to that and it was like a lot cheaper just to ship the tripod and to ship it back so i've got this lens i've got that lens that is being used to film right now which is bigger than this one and then i've got my two little lenses which i don't really need but i want to make sure i have uh, geez, this is so much stuff like i don't know what to do here I'm really not even that worried about the clothes side of things. Like, I'll be able to fit a couple of extra pairs of boxers, a couple pairs of socks, maybe like an extra t-shirt. I have to bring my dress shirt with me, but I do already have my suit in New Orleans at Antine's house, so that's a good thing. I've already got that there. So I'm not really that worried about it. Like, if I need to do laundry, I could do laundry and, and wash things, or even just do like a hand wash in the sink or something like that to freshen up. But what I'm really concerned about is getting through security with all of these lithium ion on batteries plus my extra drone batteries and the drone and then the lenses one of my lenses is like from the 1980s it was made in the soviet union it's a vintage lens and it's like straight out of like chernobyl so it's definitely got some serious radiation stuff going on i, I have no idea how that shows up in a tsa x-ray machine we're about to leave to head over to the airport it's like 6 30 in the morning i just gave up on the whole time-lapse packing process thing it's really hard to pack your camera gear when you're using your camera. I was able to fit everything in the bag, but it is a pretty tight squeeze. It's definitely a little bit bigger than Spirit's personal item guidelines that they have, like their regulations for like dimensions. I think it's 14 by 18 by eight, and this is like 19 by 15 by like nine or something like that. So it should be interesting. Spirit Airlines. So why, why would you take Spirit Airlines over another airline? It's the budget carrier budget so what makes it the budget carrier i think that because it's cheap no, i mean i always see the spirit airlines come up as the, the cheapest flight and i usually don't select it because i'm, I'm afraid of <laughs> what will not be available <laughs> <laughs> what, what if you want some peanuts or uh some no no they, 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 don't, they don't have that well, what, what if you get hungry I've definitely heard a lot of bad things about Spirit Air. I think that like the size of the seats, like they literally say on their website that they try to fit as many people on the plane as possible. And they talk about like like their business model in detail. And this is like just for like people to read when they're on there. Like they even say like the seats do not recline because we're trying to fit as many people on the plane and less moving parts they highlighted as well. That was really interesting. When I was packing the bag last night, I had to give up my socks. I was gonna wear my sneakers and socks down in New Orleans and have that, but I just didn't have room. Like, it actually saved a substantial amount of space to just not bring three pairs of socks with me, so I'm gonna be wearing flip-flops for the whole week. Do they have in-flight entertainment? I flew Ryanair one time, so I don't know why I'm so worried about this. Like, Ryanair is probably pretty similar in Europe, where, like, they are, like, really strict about bag sizes, and they'll try to charge you, like, 100 euros to do anything, so I don't know. I guess it's probably not gonna be that bad, but at the same time, like, it could be really bad. You want to set the bar as low as, as 
possible. Exactly. Like I want my expectations to be at the floor and then they can only get better from there. Do you think you'll get a folding table in front of you? I don't think that they have folding tables. I don't think that's a, Maybe, I don't know. I have no they must have they have to have folding tables. Yeah, I'm curious uh, how much how much do it yourself you have to do to, to actually get I know it you here. you had suggested that you might have to bring like your own fuel onto the plane. Yeah, yeah, maybe you like just bring like a little canister of your own BYOF fuel. BYOF or something. I don't know, that's pot BYOF. <laughs> joking a lot about how crazy Spirit Airlines could be and like how they can save money and stuff but in all seriousness it's been really easy so far the only issue is that I'm a little concerned about is, is the fact that my bag is a little bit too big but I don't think it's gonna be a problem I think it's gonna work out fine So it's been like three days since I got to New Orleans. I kind of stopped with the vlog when I got here so that I could focus on the wedding and then obviously hanging out with some friends that were in town and everything like that. The wedding went really well. It was Saturday and it was like a 13 hour day. So definitely exhausting. Don't really have time to like eat during that. You're just running from venue to venue, constantly behind the camera, making sure that everything's going. And it was, it was definitely a lot of fun though. And I'm really looking forward to making a movie out of it and spending a lot of time editing it, which is pretty much what my life's gonna be for at least the next week or so. As far as the whole Spirit Airlines experience, I actually really enjoyed it. I know we were joking a lot about it on our way over there, and even like the night before and stuff, didn't really know what to expect, but in the end, like they didn't give me any trouble about my bag, and now that I know that it fits underneath the seat in front of me without any problems, I don't see myself having any issues with it moving forward. It was definitely like the ultimate test of minimalism I guess you could say like I had to pack the smallest amount of things that I could and fit it all in there but if you're not bringing like loads of camera gear with you it would be totally fine to be able to travel on like a minimalist wardrobe that fits underneath that seat without any issues so it was pretty cool and you know it's like the minimalist airline right but at the same time it's the cheapest airline I was able to save a lot of money and it worked out in the end I definitely Definitely recommend it based on that first experience. Hopefully when I fly back to Chicago, I don't have anything worse to talk about. Thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to y'all in the next video.